party and thank you so much for for watching now and thank you uh, if you're watching in the future as well and also if you have been watching for the past year I'm <laughs> yeah I, I can't um, could never have imagined that this would have gone so far and I'm a bit a bit emotional about it so <laughs> thank you so much and welcome and I hope you're well this week I've probably already said that you've probably heard me say that a few times and we have a special guest a special local expert with us today and folk fiddler Jeff Urban hi Jeff oh hello it's nice to be back I think this is is this the fourth one I've been on of these first live one but but it is the first so it's very nice to be very nice to be back on the boat yeah, that's a good question. Actually, yeah. how many have you been on? You've been on the, the goblet, the goblet. My love is like a red, red rose, and the there was other one, one other one. Yeah, I can't remember what that no, was. it was it was um, Jockey's Lamentation. That was an early one. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So how has uh, folk, folk from the boat changed your life over the year, Jeff? Um, well, it's a shame this wasn't filmed last week because I had a. Uh, I think my facial hair you can see changed during through these videos. I had a a really um, spectacular moustache that I think it was put, pretty sinister, put, put Poirot to shame. Oh really? Oh, well, I, well, no, 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 it was, it was pretty, yeah, it was handsome but so I think creepy. some people hated it and some people hated it a lot, so, um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, we have, uh, I, I would love you to like say hello. I can, I can see the chat, like I have a laptop in front of me. I can say, hello, hello everyone. <laughs> yeah. And um, if you have like questions, then please, Please ask us, uh, ask us questions and or ask me questions, any anything, and we would love to answer them and just generally chat. It's a party. Um, whilst do you think of them and write them in? Shall we yes. do, do something together? Yeah, great. <laughs> so what shall we play? What do you want to play? Uh, I think we're going to do My Love Is Life oh, Red Rose because we decided that before. Yeah. Um, yeah from episode fifty. <laughs> from episode fifty. Oh, it'd be yeah. a nice idea to do that one then. Yeah. <laughs> great. Okay.
Nice tune, that. Right. <laughs> yes, okay. you play very well. Right. <laughs> I'm going to look down here and see if we've got any questions. Oh, uh, Andy Basebrass asks, why did Jeff uh, shave off his moustache? Um, well, uh, yeah, it's a shame. It's a... <coughs> It's a shame. It, it'll, um, yeah, various reasons, but it, it will come back. So I'm, I'm sure it will be. Um, there are. It has been recorded. There are pictures of it. Um, it'll, it'll make a comeback. Is it nice? Don't worry. Like, well, I'm not saying either way on that, but <laughs> yeah, not, not to say if it was or wasn't, but yes, there were. Yeah. Shoot. It was. It was <laughs> a inevitable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, one question I was asked before the show was um, why why do I want why do you live on a boat? So I thought I would ask, answer that one here, and it's it's lots of reasons. Um, financial is one of them. It's it's not it's not so expensive. Living on a boat is is more more work um, as in physically, but but less um, less expenses. So. That's that's one reason um, in a not hugely lucrative profession, and but then it's it's much more than that. It's being close to nature and being on the river uh, in the summer. I love swimming in the river, and it's getting that. I don't know. There's something very creative about being that close to nature and being. I love birds as well, so to get to see those and always to be sort of on the path, and then being um, traveling around. So I don't have a fixed base I'm always kind of moving um, this year's been unusual because of the lockdown so I've been sort of more in, in one place which which has been really interesting discovering more about um, like the the um, the area around the stort and the, and the leave it there's something yeah something about me that always wants to to move on <laughs> I think uh, I'm in a way I'm also very happy being a touring musician so I'm so happy when I'm on the road with just a suitcase. It's part part of that, I think. And so, yeah, that's that's my my boating. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> um, something I, I want. There's a rumor that you've made a CD recently. Um, can you uh, confirm or deny this? <laughs> uh, there, oh. there is a rumor, and the CD is called Anchoress, oh. and. The fantastic fiddle playing of Jeff is on it. Oh yes. In um, yeah. which oh. one? The goblet. The goblet. The goblet. Yeah. goblet so how is. can people buy that? How can they? Yeah. <laughs> okay, they can buy it from the website, <laughs> which is anna.tam.co.uk, and it's coming out on the twenty third of April. <laughs> Thank you so much um, to everyone who's supporting it, and it's. Um, so you can buy it on my website now. You can pre-order it, and it will be with you the moment it. And the moment it comes out, and it's all of all songs that we've been exploring. Anchoress is a fun word because, of course, it's boaty, and you anchor, and it has another another meaning, um, which is also about um, it's like a religious thing, isn't it? You know what an anchoress is. Uh, I I do, but I'd prefer <laughs> if you told us. Yeah. So it's um it's uh, it's like a, somebody who stays in one place um, in isolation um, for religious really reasons, but then they reach out to the community from from their cell basically. So it's a bit grim. They get like walled in, um, which like happily none of us have, have been. But there's been that kind of metaphorical being in one place yeah. and reaching out to the world. In in my case, through folk music. Mm -hmm. so and it's, it's not Doesn't too it? early for people to buy lots of copies of this for, to give away for Christmas presents, is it? It would be a perfect <laughs> time to, to buy them now. Pushing it. Yeah. Yes. Um, <laughs> it's for sale on the website if you want to get uh -huh. it. <laughs> and it's, yeah, full of yeah. nice things. I'm going to go back yeah. to the the panel. Oh, to somebody with a really fantastic name, Whiskey Kittens Music. I love oh. that. Um, tell you about the instrument, which is a nickel harper. <coughs> so this um, this is a Swedish folk fiddle. Um, looks a bit different to Jeff's fiddle um, because it's got keys. So a nickel harper is literally a keyed fiddle. A harper is a f instrument pretty well. Um, and nickels are keys. So of course it's played by pushing these keys and it has a few parts of its sound which are quite characteristic so I don't know if you can see there are sympathetic strings 
which are, they've got 12 sympathetic strings and if you know about music, um, in West, Western music we have 12 different notes. So all of the time these uh, sympathetic strings are ringing. So it's what makes it sound so ringy. Um, I say it's a Swedish folk fiddle. It, it, it is really. It was um, developed in Sweden. The origins of it are much less clear though. Um, we've certainly found medieval ones and depictions in Italy and things. So probably quite widespread across Europe, but then sort of preserved and developed in Sweden. Yeah, and then going back to the panel. Oh yeah, is it a physical CD? Yeah, it's a physical CD, Paul Andrews, thank you. But uh, you can also download it, I'm sure, but I'll have to give you details of how to do that later. I'll make sure they're on the website. So yeah, that's, that will definitely be possible to download. Okay, shall we yeah. play something? <clears throat> Great. Um, how about um, Drowsy Maggie? Yeah, why not? Another one? A bit. It's probably going to go wrong, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but it was St. Patrick's Day, wasn't it? Yes. So we'll yes, it yeah. do a bit of that. cheer us all up in in uh, in what's been a bit of a difficult year so yeah thank you 
Thank you so much and stay stay happy. <laughs> okay, without, without further ado, I don't know if I'm on camera or not, I'm gonna go and uh, gonna light this. <clears throat> I want to set the curtains on that. Yeah, I'm gonna light the curtains, I know. <laughs> Okay. It's chocolate. Chocolate. Ooh. Yeah. Very nice. Mm. <laughs> okay. So. Do we do we like happy birthday or? I think you have to make a wish. Oh yeah. Well, okay. every okay, everyone. Let's uh, and we're we gonna say goodbye after this. Oh we? yes. So. Yeah. So thank you for for tuning in. Oh, and next next week um. It's not an episode, but I have like a video that's premiering of um, quite a cool little hornpipe called the Fairy Boat Hornpipe. So same, same time next week, and then the next episode is going to be in two weeks' time. I keep talking till the candle burns, <laughs> right? <laughs> it's going to be in two weeks' time. So thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in and for watching. And uh, okay, yeah. here we go. We'll, make your wishes. We'll do this. Yes, everyone, yeah. everyone, make a wish. Oh. There we go. <laughs>